So the SDM230 series are all single phase, two module, dim rail mounted, 100 amp direct connected energy meters. So we've got variations for different types of communication and we've got variations of a basic uh, kilowatt hour check meter and then getting into the more multifunction type meters. All these meters are mid-approved, which means they're all suitable for billing, whether that's you billing a tenant or whether that's you claiming back money from your energy provider for exporting energy back to the grid. If you did want to know more detail about mid-approval, we went into a little bit more detail in the SDM 120 series video, which we'll link either in the top or in the description for you to watch. So SDM 230 Mod Mid. Now this is one of my favorite meters and also one of our best sellers. This is in our top seller list. The reason being is because it's just simple and it's very accurate and it's also multifunction. And on top of all of that, it's cost effective as well. So this meter also displays the same parameters as the SDM210DR. So the parameters for this meter, there's a few, so I'll just read it from the user manual so I don't miss any. Total kilowatt hours, partial resettable energy in kilowatt hours, um, import kilowatt hours and export kilowatt hours. You've got watts on them, and then here you've got volts and amps as well. Which And in addition to that, you'll get total reactive energy um, in KVA RH. You'll get import and export reactive energy in KVA RH. You'll get max demand, max power demand in watts. You'll get reactive power in VAR, um, apparent power in VA, power factor, frequency, <clears throat> and then you get the pulse reading, so pulse constant which is how many times the pulse will flash per kilowatt or per setting that you've got it set to. Um, because with this meter, you can change whether it's pulsing for kilowatt or for KVA RH. You also get the Modbus information, Modbus RS485 communications protocol. So you'll get Modbus address, board rate, and then you also get the running time so it's uh, got an internal clock to tell you how long it actually runs for. And you have ID one, sorry, DI1 counter and DI2 counter, which basically counts the amount of times that each pulse pulses. So that's for pulse one and pulse two. So as you can see, this meter is packed with different parameters um, and it's cost effective. And for that reason, it's one of my favorites and one of our top sellers. And on top of that, it's got Modbus RS485. So it's got a communication protocol for remote monitoring if need be. This meter is useful in data points in um, commercial or, or domestic. I guess if you have a domestic data point, depending on how many, you know, what, how many circuits you're actually monitoring in your home. But generally data points, obviously commercial or industrial. This meter can do that as long as it's 100 amp or less. Um, the reason it's good for data points, again, is because it's got Modbus RS485. It's also um, often used in electric vehicle chargers. So many of the chargers in the UK, if you open up, open them up, you'll see they have an Eastron STM230 in there um, for some of the big brands as well. So this meter is very, very popular um, and useful for, for many different kinds of applications. The wiring, as we mentioned in the last series video, always check the scribe on the side of the meter that's actually been lasered on for the correct wiring, because there are different versions in the market and different versions of user manuals and wiring diagrams. So if you can, always refer to the side of the meter. If not, get in touch with us on 01268 773 422 or inquiry at smartprocess.co.uk and we'll provide you the relevant documentation for the meter that you have. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and we'll be sure to reply to that. Um, thank you very much for watching and sticking through to the end. And um, please subscribe for more videos on the channel like this one. Thank you.